And we all know that Cooper Rush is 5-0 against spread as a starter. Hurts over 291 Point five passing and rushing yards and an anytime TD in this game. I like Dallas Goddard over 19.5 receiving yards in this one. Demarcus Lawrence, Micah Parsons. Micah got a little tweak in the groin last week. He still played amazing in the second half. Fucking phenomenal that kid is, man. I wish he wore an Eagles jersey instead of that stupid fucking star on his fucking goddamn helmet. But anyways, we'll, we won't vent too much because I do love the kid. He's one of my favorite players to watch in the NFL. I have never watched this much Dallas Cowboys football games in my life. Like, I'm talking entire games just because I want to see what this kid does on the field. Him and Demarcus Lawrence on that defense. Van Der Ash, he's going to be a key factor with the, in the, for the Cowboys in the linebackers. Their two safeties are phenomenal tacklers. It, they've been tackling well. If they can tackle well against the Eagles, that'll be huge because the Eagles' yak yards are pretty good with Brown and Devontae and Dallas Garter in there. This is going to come down to a big battle in the trenches with these two teams. I don't think Cooper Rush is going to be able to win this game for Dallas, and I think Hurts can win the football game for the Eagles. I don't know why this spread is so fucking high. I don't care if Cooper Rush is the QB for Dallas. This is all about both teams' defenses and both teams' lines, O-lines and D-lines. And I think that's what it comes down to in this one. I'm going to bet the Eagles to stay undefeated because I don't think Cooper Rush, like I said, has enough to win the game for Dallas like a Dak Prescott would be able to if he was starting for the Cowboys this weekend. But the spread is way too high, especially for a Cowboys-Eagles game. The blow last year was, what, a game that didn't mean nothing when every starter was resting on one side. And, and the first game of the season was early in. We all know what happened with the Eagles. Nick Sirianni, Jalen Hurts started the year trying to force all these passes, being very predictable. And then they turned into a rushing attack, and now they found a bit of balance with all the additions this year. I think they're, they're just too talented not to win this game because of, A, that tweak to Micah Parsons' groin. How much is that going to affect them? And B, Cooper Rush not being able to win a game for the Dallas Cowboys. I don't think he's going to lose a game for them either. I think he's just that sort of game manager. And, and if I'm Dallas, I'm keeping Cooper Rush in there until he loses a fucking game. Why would you rush Dak Prescott back? I want Dak Prescott healthy for the end of the fucking year. So he's healthy and strong and feeling good like he never has for a fucking playoff run for the Dallas Cowboys. When was the last time they won a fucking playoff game? Early 2000s? Late 90s? They haven't won a playoff game in forever. Keep your fucking star QB, your star player outside of Micah healthy for the playoff run, for the end of the season, especially when you're doing well. It's not like you're losing and fading. It's not like you're in any worry for, for a fucking wildcard spot in the playoffs. You're still one game out of first in the fucking division with the Eagles, and you guys play each other again at the, at the end of the year. In worst case, you're, you're two games back after this week, which is nothing in the NFL, especially with the talent you have on your roster. Don't be foolish. Don't rush Prescott back, Cowboys. Please. And I'm an Eagles fan talking, telling you, Cowboys, don't rush him back. He is your, your QB, your franchise player. Fuck, be smart about it, Jerry Jones, for once in your fucking life. Anyways, I like the Eagles to win this one. I, I think I'm not going to predict a score. I don't think they cover this number. Cowboys definitely on the point spread. I'm leery to bet this on the over because I think both these defenses, I think this is more like an under game. It could get away from one of them, especially if Micah goes down hurt or the Eagles O-line struggles. You could see this, maybe some defensive points in this game. I'm leaning to the under, but I'll take the Eagles on the money line. Boys on the spread, what a fucking weekend of games. Man, Bills, Chiefs, Cowboys, Eagles, all teams are good, and they're playing each other this early in the season. Fucking phenomenal. Good luck with all your picks. Like, share, subscribe, retweet to all my shit. Dags underscore swags on everything, except Twitter is at view underscore Parkers, I believe. But you can find me. Just just search Dagan Parker. Just search Dags underscore swag, Dag swag, whatever. You'll see my fucking face pop up on so much shit. It's unreal. All them, I've got like four different Instagram accounts, whatever, three different Instagram accounts. I got my business account. I do a drone photography business as well. So whatever, hit me up. Like, share, subscribe, retweet, all that shit. I'd love to do this more. I'd love to be able to have the time to research because the three jobs, three kids going through the divorce, it's fucking hard press time right now. 
but I love doing this. It's one of my favorite things to do. Hopefully, I can start making money and do even more research, more stats, talk more about sports in general, bring back my collectibles show, which is talking about all my collectibles. I got all, half a 10 by 10 storage unit full of sports collectibles. I, I've got close to 100 jerseys. I've got hats, everything, you name it, clocks. You see my fucking wall. I got everything. All sports all fucking teams. I'm not just my favorite team guy. I'm a sports fucking geek. I'm a sports fan through and through. The only things I don't like are swimming and tennis. Do your fucking thing. You like them. Whatever. No skin off my back. Don't affect me none. I just don't fucking like them personally and I have no time for them. But I'm willing to talk about just about anything and everything else. If any of you guys even just want to hit me up and do a little show on the side and I will post it on my social medias and all my socials and my YouTube channel. Any of you sports fans out there or any of you other dudes or girls that are just doing your own shows and you're trying to grow, let's do a show together and try to help each other grow together. Anyways, good luck on your picks this weekend. Peace.